Hi, my super sweet crafty friends. Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Unmade. If you're new, please subscribe and click the bell button down below so you don't miss my videos. And today I want to share with you how to make this super stinking adorable snowman. This little guy is perfect for craft fair, for gift ideas, inexpensive gift ideas for family, friends, co-workers, teachers, and it's also perfect to do for activities for teachers with students. So I'm going to show you how to make it and I'll show you what we'll need. We're going to be using socks from the Dollar Tree. I got these socks over there and these ones are the tall ones. You get a pair and then I'm using this kind, these are men's socks and this come three in a pack. So you will be able to make at least six and you can also make up to 12. But you will need to buy some more of the other kind. I'm also using these elastic little bands that kids use for bracelets. I got this at the Dollar Tree also a while ago. And I'm going to be using rice. Make sure you get the very inexpensive kind or you can also get the bulk ones. Those will be perfect for this if you're going to mass produce. And I'm using this half flat back pearls and these are black but you can use the white ones and I'll show you later how to do it. So I'm also using these spare parts. These are from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby and these are brads, button brads. And I'm also using these snowflakes. This I bought a while ago at one of the scrapbook expos. So if you don't have them, use anything that you have to decorate. You can use regular buttons and some other things. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut right as you see me there, almost at the staring of the heel. And don't throw away this little one. You actually can make a mini version with this. So you could get up to 12 ones from this pair of socks. But you will have to buy um, some more of the other kind. Now I'm going to pour the rice and you can pour your rice in a cup or a little container before pouring it into your sock if it's easier for you. I just got a little bit on one corner and then just poured it in. I find that that way I can control the flow. And once I get the desired amount, I'm going to use one of the white little elastic bands to close the body of my little guy. And I'm going to show you here, you leave an inch and a half excess sock and we're going to shape this to help us with the little pom pom for our little snowman hat. I folded the inside out and kind of squeezed it together to give it a little shape. And now I'm going to use another one of the elastic bands to keep it in place. So once we do this, we are going to have the little sausage like that we're going to shape. So I'm going to just squeeze around where I want my head, squeeze around and you're going to have a shape that looks like a peanut. <laughs> Grab another elastic band and then place it around the area where you shape your head. And then you're going to keep it shaping all the time to make sure that you keep it the way you want it. And now I'm going to use cord and I'm going to actually tie it everywhere where I use the elastic bands. I'm going to tie cord. I'm going to make a couple of knots each time to make sure that it's secure. And this is in case any elastic band breaks. So we make sure that our little guy doesn't fall apart. So again, I'm going to tie cord everywhere where I place an elastic band. And now we're going to work with the other sock. So grab it and place the opening onto your head, the little snowman's head, like you would do when you're putting on your sock. Then you're going to fold up the elastic area of the sock around half an inch. And now we're going to cut. And you can see there I eyeball it and this is how much is left. And now I'm going to pull up the back area of the sock a little bit and then I'm going to cut as you see me doing there. Don't throw this piece away and be very careful handling it because it falls apart very easy. So now we're going to fold the back as you see me doing there. And then we're going to bring the top back 
so we can close it. And this is going to give us the shape of the pom pom for our little hat. It's so stinking adorable! <laughs> It's just looking so cute already. So I forgot to tie the elastic first, so I'm going to use the cord. But I recommend you do the elastic first because it makes the shape stay and then you can tie the cord easier. But I forgot, so I'm doing it backwards. <laughs> so once I tie the knot, I make sure that I make a knot at the front and then I bring it back again. And then I tie another knot. I just want to make sure that my little guy, it's really secure. So if any elastic band breaks, it's going to stay in place. So this is how it's looking. Isn't it so adorable already? You can make this into a little baby also. So now we're going to cut here. I'm going to cut a ring as you see me doing there. And I'm going to open it very carefully and then just place it on the top of the head and bring it down to the neck of my little snowman. Be careful handling the little pieces that you cut from the toe socks. Once you cut them, they really fall apart very, very easily. So just be careful handling it. And notice how I'm always reshaping my little guy. Now I'm going to very carefully place inside the little strip that we cut from the back of the hat. And this is going to make the shape of the scarf for our little snowman. I'm using the fabric tag from Beacon to glue it. So I apply some glue at the top and bottom and then I glue it giving it the shape I want. So it looks sort of like the little scarf knots. And now I'm going to cut here. I'm going to use these two uh, toes that you see there. I'm going to cut off the first one and then I'm going to cut this two. These are the ones that I'm going to use. So I'm going to separate them and then I'm going to cut at the top a little bit to remove the excess so it is the right size for my little guy. Do the same to the other one and if you see it there it fits perfectly. So just eyeball it and cut it the size that you would like the little arms to be. And now I'm going to apply the beacon glue to the sides of the little toe because it falls apart as I said before really really easy so once I glue the sides it becomes a little stronger now I'm going to apply glue wherever I want to apply my little arm and then I'm going to push it in carefully now I'm going to apply glue to the back of the little arm and then I'm going to shape it so it is right where I want it. And this is how it's looking. So stinking adorable. So do the same to the other arm. Apply glue to the sides so you make it stronger. And then apply glue wherever you want to place it. And then apply glue to the back of it. And glue it to the little snowman. Now I'm going to glue a little snowflake brad. And you can use anything to decorate. So I'm going to add a little dot of beacon glue and then push my little brad in so it stays in place. Now I'm going to apply another little piece of cord to tie a knot and then tie a bow to decorate our little hat. I'm going to add another dot of glue and push in another one of the snowflake brads. And this is looking so cute! <laughs> so I'm adding another dot of glue to the arm and I added a snowflake in there because I want to make it like he's carrying the snowflake. I'm going to add a dot of beacon glue to all the snowflakes and then I'm going to add a little bling to decorate them. And this is looking just so stinking adorable. Isn't it the cutest thing? You guys had to let me know in the comments below. I'm going to use black flatback pearls that I got at Michael's a while ago from Studio G. If you don't have this, you can use regular pearls flatback. Just color them with a black marker and then place them on your little guy. I'm trying to figure out which one I like here. And I think I'm going to go with the bigger ones. So cute! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry guys, but I cannot help myself. It's so stinking adorable. And now I'm going to use my pink memento marker to give his little cheeks some blush. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> now I'm going to use some spare parts. These are from the paper studio and these are brads 
button brads from Hobby Lobby. I added a dot of glue, beacon glue, whatever I want to stick my little brads so they don't come off. You can see how clean our little guy is coming along. Now I'm going to make the little carrot for the nose and I'm using this little piece that I notched from a piece of paper using my envelope punch from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm going to fold it as you see me doing there to create our little carrot for the nose. And now I'm gluing it to the little guy using some more beacon glue. So stinking adorable! If you don't have the We Are Memory Keepers punch board, you don't need it. You just need to cut a little triangle, maybe like a half an inch long, and then just roll it and create your little carrot. Oh my god, you guys tell me how much you like this little guys. I love them. Thank you so much for watching and uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you, my super sweet crafty friends for your love and support. I hope all of you who are here in the US have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, enjoy along with your family and friends and for all the rest of my super sweet crafty friends that are not in the US, I hope you're having a great great week and have an awesome weekend. Big hug to all of you. Love you guys. Mwah.